I've wondered about that all the time. And Richard. why the first mission back in 23 years was an unmanned Pentagon mission that photographed the hell out of the place and then promptly dropped dead? Well, oh, it is dead now? Well, to all intents and purposes, let me. this is where things get really cute. The ostensible reason that John Noble Wilford, my esteemed colleague at the New York Times, apparently bought hook, line, and sinker, you know, I am I am very depressed with the with the state of reporting in the United States of America. We either have a very dumb class of reporters, or we have people who simply don't want to really know what's going on because, God, it might affect their job. They might have to get another job. Some of it's just lazy. Richard. It must be incredible laziness because John Wilford, who should know better, published the story come out of the Pentagon that the Clementine's purpose was to test SDI technology. Now. SDI, Space Defense Initiative, finding one bullet with another and knocking it down right. at intercept speeds of 30,000 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. So how do you test sensors that are supposed to find one little tiny sliver of technology in the dark speeding down with a nuclear warhead with another one? Obviously, you go to a big silvery target like the moon and park in orbit and take pictures. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Right. It's like training Navy sharpshooters or SEALs to assassinate uh, Saddam Hussein by sending them to, you know, Mother Teresa. Doesn't make any sense, right? <laughs> Just absolutely kooky. The part of the mission that quasi made sense was the asteroid rendezvous. Exactly. So guess what BMDO did the morning that Clementine on May 3rd was designed to leave lunar orbit? It announced it was closing down operations. It was killing the program. <laughs> it was pulling the plug financially. New York Times, boys and girls, I've got the clippings. They're on the video. You'll see them. Wasn't and it? it was only two senators and a congressman who hit the warpath when they heard this that saved the program. Because by Wednesday morning, they had forced General O'Neill, head of BMDO, to recant and somehow find $3.2 million to keep Clementine going to the Geographos rendezvous in August. On Saturday, a bad day for a spacecraft in space, by the way. Remember, it was Saturday. It we is. Lost Mars Saturdays are bad. Yes, I recall. We lost Mars of River on a Saturday. Do yes. not, guys, do not take a mission on a spacecraft on a Saturday. <laughs> Just a gentle word of warning, particularly if it's run by the Pentagon or NASA. Okay, what happened Saturday? Saturday, we are told that the spacecraft computer on Clementine inadvertently opened all the fuel valves and ran the fuel to depletion. Clementine has no more gas. It can't go anywhere. It's spinning hopelessly at 80 RPM, orbiting forever between Earth and Moon. Oh, and isn't right. that, as Church Lady would say, precious? Yeah, isn't that precious? 